Hi, welcome back. Today I'll be solving this odd looking equation without the use of magic. If you want to give it a go yourself, pause the video now. OK, let's begin. First, I'm going to set 5 to the power of 2x equal to 45. And I'm also going to set 3 to the 4y equal to 45. Now this first power rule tells us that if we have a number raised to a power and that's all raised to another power, then we can rewrite that as that same number raised to the powers multiplied together. Or of course, we can do that in the reverse direction. And that's exactly what I'm going to do over here. So this becomes 5 to the power of 2, all raised to the power of x. And this equals 45. And over here we get 3 to the power of 4, all raised to the power of y, equals 45. Now, on this first equation, I'm going to raise all of this to the power of y and raise 45 to the power of y. And on the second equation, I'm going to raise all of this to the power of x and raise 45 to the power of x. And again, using the first rule, I can rewrite this as 5 squared all to the power of x multiplied by y equals 45y. And here I can write it as 3 to the power of 4, also to the power of x multiplied by y equals 45x. Now I'm going to merge these two equations by multiplying the left hand side of each equation together and the right hand side of each equation together. So we get 5 squared to the power of x times y multiplied by 3 to the power of 4 multiplied by xy and this equals 45 to the power of y multiplied by 45 to the power of x. Now on the left hand side we have different bases but we have the same power. Therefore, by using rule number 3, I can write this as 5 squared multiplied by 3 to the power of 4, all raised to x, y. And on the right hand side, we have the same base, but different powers. Therefore, in accordance with rule number 2, I can write this as 45 to the power of x plus y. OK, I'm now going to write this equation out again with some adjustments. So we have 5 squared multiplied by 3 to the power of 4, which is of course 81, so I'm going to rewrite that as 9 squared. And that's all to the power of xy. And on the right hand side, I'm going to rewrite 45 as 5 times 9, and that's all to the power of x plus y. Next, I'm going to take these squares outside of the bracket. So this becomes 5 times 9, all squared, all to the power of xy. And here, I'm going to take the 5 times 9, I'm going to square it and then take the square root. And this is still to the power of x plus y. This additional squaring and square root has no overall effect. OK, so why have I done all this? Well, I now have a base of 5 times 9 squared on this side and 5 times 9 squared 
on this side. And if the bases are the same, then the powers must be the same. So on the left hand side we have xy, and on the right hand side we have a half of x plus y. Remember that when we have a power raised to a power, that's the same as those powers multiplied together. So we can do this. And finally, if we divide both sides by x plus y, we have xy over x plus y equals a half. And that is our answer. If you got that, congratulations. You've just won a free subscription to this channel. And if you didn't, well, why not subscribe anyway? There's no one looking. Okay, that's it. Look out for tomorrow's video.